Most everyone knows about Toyota Corolla, the best-selling car of all time. But did you know it has a little sister? Yaris has been around for a number of years, just not as well known as its popular sibling. You can get into a base model Yaris with five-speed manual transmission for just under $15,000. This particular car that I'm testing is 16.6. That includes destination and floor mats. This is a mid-level LE model. Obviously no heated leather seats or satellite navigation, even as options, Yaris's basic transportation. Power comes from a 1.5 liter four cylinder that makes 106 horsepower. Gear changes on my tester are done with a four speed automatic. If you're into numbers, five and six speed boxes are common in this class. Acceleration is respectable for a small economy car. Yaris is fine on steep hills, but you'll certainly hear the engine and transmission working in this case. People are looking for budget price and operation in this class. The EPA rates the automatic transmission model at 30 city, 35 highway. In the past, small inexpensive cars have been known as penalty boxes because they've been loud and uncomfortable. That doesn't really apply to Yaris. It's uh, not a Buick, but it's fine at highway speeds. Yaris goes about its business just fine in corners. There's a touch of sport, mainly though the suspension is meant to keep folks comfy. What a driver sees the most of is this. Hard plastics are expected in this class. There is one strip of soft touch material. And don't worry, there is air conditioning. Chairs are comfortable, fine for longer trips. These trim flaps would look better in matching material. A lower cushion airbag positions front passengers to make the main units more effective. Sun visors are nicely adjustable, better than some in more expensive cars. You'll be motoring without a tachometer in LE models. The steering wheel tilts, no sunroof option. I find the sound system with Bluetooth for phone and music player integration more confusing than it needs to be. Sound quality is average. No covered storage between the seats. The cubbies do not get soft inserts to keep things from rattling or rolling around when moving. Yaris is available with two extra doors to make entry and exit back here easier. There's a surprising amount of room. Belts for three, two average sized adults should be comfortable. Foot room is okay. Ah, here are those floor mats I was mentioning earlier. No armrest or power port. There's one seat pocket. As you know, I normally do the TP trunk test with the back seat in the usable position. In that regard, the Yaris scores a four. But this is a two door and many times the back seat will go unused. So uh, let's fill it up. Yeah, yep, there is a spare tire. It's very easy to drop the split seats. There's a decent amount of room with them down. 13 is Yaris's lucky number when it comes to bath tissue. Used to be there were very few choices in this price range. Now the market is flooded with subcompact cars. This Toyota is not the roomiest, most fuel efficient, or least expensive, but there are plenty of buyers who believe this brand is the gold standard when it comes to quality and durability. I'm not 100% positive of this, but I have heard the name Yaris is a combination of the German word for yes, which is ya, ja, and the Greek goddess Charis. And if it's not, then you get back whatever money you paid to buy this particular segment of Driven. No questions asked. That is my opinion of the 2012 Toyota Yaris. Now, if you're looking in this category, you're going to want to check out the competition, right? Because you're a smart shopper. You can do that at drivencarreviews.com. Lots of videos, Mazda 2, Accent, Rio, Sonic, Fiesta. They're all here, all the major players. Check the videos out before you go shopping. That's Driven. I'm Tom Volk.